This video covers the test method ASTM D6007 for determining formaldehyde concentration in air from wood products using a small scale chamber. This test method is a way to quantify how much newly manufactured panel products such as laminated particle board and Luan sheets contribute to indoor air quality. When equivalency to the primary large chamber method ASTM E1333 is made, ASTM D6007 can be used to determine compliance with formaldehyde emission limit requirements for CARB and the future EPA Toxic Control Substance Act, but not for HUD. There are two main considerations when conducting the test, loading ratio and air exchange rate. The loading ratio is total exposed surface area of each product divided by the test chamber volume. The air exchange rate is the ratio of conditioned and filtered outside air brought into the chamber to the chamber's volume per hour. ASTM D6007 allows for different loading ratios and exchange rates to help accommodate different samples and chamber sizes to provide quality results and equivalency to the large chamber test. Instead of specifying a loading ratio, ASTM D6007 uses a combined term called the QA ratio for different product types. Due to the small chamber size of 0.02 cubic meters to 1 cubic meter, most products require cutting from a larger panel. These smaller samples are then conditioned for two hours. However, this can be lengthened to better correlate to the large chamber results. After conditioning, the test samples are placed in the chamber at steady temperature and humidity conditions of 77 degrees Fahrenheit and 50% RH. ASTM D6007 requires that the samples remain in the chamber until a steady state formaldehyde concentration is reached, as determined by either a calculation based on the mass transfer coefficient of the material or consecutive air samples that differ by no more than the error of the analytical method used. The analytical method specified by this test method is a slightly modified version of the NIOSH 3500 method where air is bubbled through an impinger containing a 1% sodium bisulfite solution. This solution is then mixed with chromotropic acid and sulfuric acid to cause a color change proportional to the quantity of formaldehyde in the solution. The quantification of this color change is measured using a spectrophotometer and compared back to a calibration curve relating color to formaldehyde. The results of this test method are expressed as the formaldehyde concentration in air in parts per million, or ppm. It should be noted that these results are only relevant to the specific air exchange rate and loading ratio used, and that the small chamber results may differ from those expected in the full-scale indoor environment.